You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASAF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this section, we are going to discuss the most important parameters of the electronic world briefly, and they are voltage, current, frequency, impedance, and power. I know most of you are familiar with these parameters because you have already passed your undergraduate level, but we wanted to make a complete course, so we want to mention this and uh, explain them short briefly and uh, mention the importance of these parameters in RF world as well. So let's start with Ohm's law. So imagine the uh, picture here, we have a resistance here, it's R, and we have voltage. So we say the potential difference across an ideal conductor is proportional to the current through it. So as you see in this picture, we can say the, the voltage is equal to I times R, according to Ohm's law. So it means that when we connect the, uh, this resistance to voltage potential, uh, we will produce a current and this current is equal to V over R. So we just have to divide the voltage over resistance here. Or we can say V is equal to Ri. So if we have the current and if we have the resistance, we can also calculate the voltage. So uh, what about the DC and AC voltage? Uh, this voltage sometimes is constant. So uh, we call it DC voltage or DC current, for example, let's talk about the current. We say in a direct current DC, the electric charge current only flows in one direction. So the, as you see in this picture, the voltage is only flowing in direction from left to right, and it's not changing, it's always constant, so we call it DC current. But sometimes our voltage or our current is changing. As you see in this picture right side, we have AC voltage, so this voltage is changing and it's, uh, it's fluctuating and it changes pol uh, polarity. So we say electric charge in alternating current, on the other hand, change direction period periodically. The voltage in AC circuits also periodically reverses because the current changes direction. So voltage and current change, change at the same times. Let's show the current for the circuit. So imagine we have the circuit and we have AC. So uh, what we expect, the current will be something like this, a bit lower because uh, we know I is equal to V over R. So we are actually decreasing the voltage. So the current will be something like that in sine wave and it will be uh, varying over time. So this is the current for AC. What about the frequency? A frequency is number of occurrences of a repeating event per unit time. As you see in this picture, we can define the uh, frequency. So imagine that uh, we're assuming uh, one second. So uh, when we say unit time, unit time means one second. And here, for example, it shows that how many times this spring goes or this object goes down and up in one second. For example, uh, if this object is going five times up and down in one second, it means that our frequency is five. So it means that, so this object goes down and up. So this is, this is the one. So, and now we go like up and down. And this is the last one. So this is all one second. So we say the frequency of this, uh, frequency of this uh, oscillation is five. The F is five. So we can now define the period. The period is the duration of time of one cycle in a repeating event. So as you see here in this picture, imagine that uh, the, this time is, for example, the one period is two seconds. So we want to find the frequency for, for this object. So we say the time period is equal to two seconds. And what is the relationship between time period and frequency? It's exactly, it, they have the inverse relationship. So uh, the time period is inversely proportional to frequency. So now our frequency is one over T and the frequency is equal to one over two Hertz. And we show it with Hertz. So uh, as a summary, F is a regular frequency. The number of occurrences of a repeating event per time, per unit time, it means that in one second, 
the t is a period. A peri the t is period is one over f, and we can define omega its angular frequency is equal to two times pi times our frequency. This f is frequency here. And also, you can see this picture. It's very obvious. This is the uh, periodic movement. So we can show it with a sine omega zero t. A is our amplitude, as you see, the peak time. Uh, the t is the time period. You can assume from peak to peak, or it doesn't matter. From this point up to this point is also a time period, as we discussed before. And what about f? f is inverse of, is equal to inverse of t. We can show it zero here. So as you see here, and what about the, uh, if you if we want to write this in terms of angular frequency, we can write omega is equal to 2pf. So now we can write f is equal to omega over 2p. So now we can write this omega 0 over 2p is equal to 1 over t0. Impedance. Impedance represented by the symbol z is a measure of a position to electrical flow. It's measured in ohms. I'm going to explain the difference between impedance and resistance. Actually, it's kind of the same. You can assume that impedance is a kind of resistance. So what is the difference here? This is the impedance we show like this. So we sell this Z and this is our resistance. You can assume something like that. This resistance is always constant. So this is constant. But what about this impedance? This impedance depends on our frequency. So it's proportional to frequency or is proportional to inverse of frequency. It depends. For example, if we have a, uh, if we have inductance, is proportional to frequency, or if we have capacitance, is proportional to inverse of frequency. We are going to explain this uh, in upcoming slides. So this is the main actually difference between the the impedance and resistance. So resistance is always constant. Uh, of course, we are not talking about the temperature. You have to keep this in mind. When the temperature change, of course, this resistance will change. But imagine that we have a constant temperature here. So if we change the frequency, for example, from F1 to F2, the operation frequency of the circuit, this resistance will be constant. But what about the impedance? Impedance will change. So we are going to talk about this in upcoming a slide and upcoming uh, sections you don't have to worry about this but you have to keep this in mind so for DC systems impedance and resistance are the same defined as the voltage across an element divided by the current so as we talked before now for a DC system it means that our frequency is zero in DC system we don't have frequency so it's constant now in the DC system the Z is equal to R here Z is equal to R so basically, when we are uh, talking about the DC, we don't have a actually a definition of impedance. We can call it resistance. And impedance in an AC system is measured in ohms and represented by equation Z is equal to V over I. But V and R are frequency dependent. We are going to talk about this in phasor part, actually. So we now we know that Z is also equal to V over I. So it's uh, basically something like resistance. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking RF Fundamental Basic Concepts and Components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question. And then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website and after that all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to checkout and as you see click to enter your code you can put the the coupon code here and then apply the coupon so then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course as you see you won't pay anything for this course Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. 
Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.